difference a year can make. Am I right? Emily, the United States of America's Teen Utah is here to share how she is using her royal reign to inspire teens to find their passion through service. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. Okay. I've got to say the crown, ever, you are fabulous. And I already, I, I already know that you are inspiring teens across America through service, but let's get to know you a little bit. Let's talk about your background and how you got into pageants. My name is Emily Graff. I'm 17 and a high school junior. I take all AP CE and honors classes because academics are my priority. I sew, play the piano, and do competitive ballroom dance. And then, of course, I'm United States of America's Teen Utah 2022. Is there anything you don't do? Wait a minute, ballroom, sewing. I'm already feeling like I have failed at life and you are just crushing it because you are so young. But you're also inspiring so many people through service. Why is service so important to you? I've been a Girl Scout since I was in kindergarten, so I've always grown up caring a lot about service. So it's been a huge part of my life, my entire life. So it's really just shaped who I am as a person. And so what are some of the, the service projects that you've been doing? So in December, I collected 200 pairs of socks and donated them to the Road Home, which is a local homeless shelter. And then in January, my first official service project is USO 18 Utah was getting a dozen other teens and we donated birthday bags to our school district's teen centers. What's your favorite part about service? Because obviously you, you got to like it because you're doing so much of it, right? I love being able to help other people. Like, as I said, I was a Girl Scout, so it's very much a part of me to want to help others and make our, my community a better place. So let's talk a little bit about pageants and how you got into pageants in the first place. What was the start? It's actually a pretty great story. So I was dress shopping for my friend Kiki's Masquerade Ball, and I happened to meet last year's Mrs. Utah. Brittany Butler. Uh -huh. She invited me to do a photo shoot on the Salt Flats with her and Haley Huntsman, who's the current reigning United States of America okay. Miss. And they both wanted me to do the pageant. And I wasn't really sure at first because I thought I wasn't like the pageant type, but then I realized there wasn't a pageant type, especially as I've gone through my USOA journey because USOA focuses so much on empowering women and building confidence. I love this. And thank goodness for Kiki and the masquerade ball or this. None of this would have been happening. So I love what you talked about about pageants, because I think sometimes I don't want to say they get a bad rap, but I think sometimes, especially now me as a parent, I now am worried like maybe it wouldn't be a good thing for my daughter. I'm worried about her maybe not taking the criticism well. But it sounds like to me that pageants have been a point of an empowerment for you. Oh, absolutely. I've grown so much in the last few months as a person, and I can't wait to see where I've grown by the end of the year. Oh, that's what I was going to say. It's, this is just the beginning for you. So do you have any advice for somebody that maybe is thinking about being in a pageant or maybe even a parent that's considering putting their daughter into a pageant? I'd say, honestly, just go for it. This has been a huge confidence builder for me, and I felt so empowered these last few months. Okay, I love this. And Emily, we are so proud of you and you representing our state. How can we follow you and just keep up with you? I have an Instagram that is United States of America's Teen Utah. Okay, thank you so much. And I've got to wrap up the interview or I'm going to ask to wear your crown and I'll get in trouble if I do that. So thank you so much for joining us today. Of course, thank you so much. <laughs>